Good morning, Year One, and welcome to the next lesson on position and direction in maths. So let's start by writing the date, which is Thursday, the fourth of June, twenty twenty, and the learning intention, which is to be able to use directional language. Okay, well done. So let's have a look at these children in their classroom. The children are all seated close to each other. The children are seated around Charles. Can you point to Charles? Well done, he is over here. The teacher's desk is near Lulu, Holly and Ruby. The teacher is close to his desk. Can you point to the teacher? Well done, he is over here. Ravi, Amira and Sam are seated far from the teacher. Can you find Ravi, Amira and Sam? Well done, they're over here at the back. Who is sitting in front of the teacher? Let's have a look at the answer. Okay, did you get Holly? Well done, because Holly is sitting right here in front of the teacher. I now want you to have a go at completing these questions. So who is sitting behind Charles? Give me the name of the child. Who is sitting next to Emma? Who is sitting in front of Elliot? And who is sitting behind Ravi? Okay, so I want you to pause the video and you can either write the answers down or you can just tell your adult if you wish to. Okay, let's have a look at the answers now. Who is sitting behind Charles? It's Amira. There's Charles and Amira is behind him. Who is sitting next to Emma? It's Charles. So there's Emma and there's no one sitting on that side of her. So it must be Charles. Who is sitting in front of Elliot? It is Ruby. So there's Elliot and Ruby is in front of Elliot. And the last one, who is sitting behind Ravi? So there's Ravi. Who is sitting behind him? The answer is nobody. There's no one behind him because he's sitting at the back. Well done if you got all of those correct. That's really, really impressive. Right, let's have a look at this picture now. How many of these words can you use in a sentence to describe the position of the objects in the picture? So I've got these words, under, in front, behind and above. So try and use these words to describe where the different objects are in this picture. I've got an example for you. The doll and the water bottle are under the chair. Okay, can you see the doll and the water bottle are under the chair? Okay, let's have a look at some of the answers that I got. And if you've got any of these, well done. Maybe you've got some other ones that I don't have on my list. The doll and the water bottle are under the chair. That's the one that we had before. The doll is in front of the water bottle. The water bottle is behind the doll. The pencil and the books are above the doll and the water bottle. The pencil is close to the books. Can you see it's quite close? It's not far away. It's close to the books. The books are behind the pencil and the pencil is in front of the books. Okay, if you were able to follow all of those in the picture, give yourself a big thumbs up. Well done, you are doing so well. Okay, your next task is to go onto the Grange website and download these two separate sheets. You have to write instructions to move the B bot, this is the B bot, to different objects on the grid. Remember to use the words left, right, up, 
and down. And you should remember from yesterday's lesson how to work out what your left and right is. So you're going to give the answers on this sheet here. To get to the cat, move. So you're the bee bot, we're over here. We need to get to the cat. The cat is here. What do you have to do using these words? So the first one, I'll give you the example for the first one. If you're here, you would move up and then up again. Now you need to complete the rest for all of these. So you can pause the video and do that now. Okay, well done. So your next task is to have a look at this grid and read the instructions. So Jack is directly above Alex. Eva is directly below Alex. Who is to the right of Eva? There is no one above Amir. What are the missing names? Add people to complete the grid and describe where they are. Okay, well done. I've got some challenge activities for you to do, which are also on the Grange website. So you need to look at the pictures and you have to describe what you can see in them using the directional language and all the words at the bottom. So you can use as many as you can to help you. But if you're in Mrs. Coker or Miss Thurlow's phonics groups, your task is, I've got this sheet on the Grange website, you are going to complete the sentences to describe the position of the objects using the words left and right. So you have to look at these images and you have to tell me if, for example, the tree is to the left or to the right of the cat. Okay, that's your task. Okay, that's it for today, Year 1. You've worked so well. Please remember to send in all the work to the Year 1 email address. See you later.